lights out. Don't let it fade. Yeah, we can wait for it to. Hello there, guys. Welcome. <laughs> I hate you all. Yeah, seriously. Hi, guys. Welcome back to uh, Cerberus Gamers Rogue Trader Group. These what guys are going to take the Mickey out of Mickey saying hello. Well, you... hello there. <laughs> hello there. It's like when we meet oh, him. When, when, we, when you have it, like. Thank in, you. You got what I was doing. In in the shop. Like, Richard always used to go and watch all. Like, whenever we see him, watch all. Oh my god, we actually made a bet that when you came round once, that's how you would open the door. Watch out. And you literally did. Yeah. I should have, we should have put money it's on it. My that. standard greeting. It's also an excellent magazine for determining which prostitute you want to have. What ho? <laughs> um, what ho? There's a ho. Sorry, I like that joke. It's terrible, but I like it. Dad jokes. So. Oh, sorry. I'm in then. What? Oh yeah, we were interrogating. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. which we failed were going to horribly. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the entire group just kind of looks at you. I, I'm just like, what are you guys doing? Okay, uh, you suggest we interrogate them individually then. Uh, who's who's the closest to the door of the chapel? Just go and push him into the room and go right you first. Sorry, I didn't uh, the geologist for your champion. Yeah. Power fist on. I will just walk away. straight to the geologist. I'm, I'm, I would look like I, was I, I, I hadn't decided who it was, so I just rolled to see who it was randomly. He is, he, to be fair, he was the one that was mouthing off and stuff. Yeah. Right, okay, I'll just say, look, right, no, you no, go he, take him. He just pushes him into the room and goes, you Wait, first. Whoa, whoa, don't assume what I'm doing first of all. Right, you go do what you were going to do. You let me do what you <sighs> Go on. Go on, just walk it's ahead. Just get this ridiculous farce over with. That's what you're oh, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I'll just walk straight for the door and just grab her and just chuck her into the room. The geologist. Wait, the geologist is the female. No. Oh. Wait, what is? Oh, okay. I was wondering who was making that call. Anyway, he's just been chucked in a room. I want to carry on here. Yeah, I've only got like four voices I can do in a room. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the room. Uh, <laughs> I'm so, yeah, if, if you're curious, Camilla is female, Felix is male, Julia is female. Yeah. Uh, Ferret, the line of pilots, is male. Vino, the engine, is male. Uh, Professor, Jero Professor Jerome is male. And Overseer, Jago. I think this mystery is going to solve itself in a minute. <laughs> um, Don't worry. Yeah, so. Is that. Are you both going in? Um, we all follow wait, him. Wait there, guys. Come on. I'm just. I don't know. Uh, sorry. I'm standing at the door and I'm going, Spy Master, will you assist me, please? Gladly. And then when you come back to that. <laughs> fine, fine. Put the power fist on. You be bad cop. Like, like, like they do with the like, le like no rubber gloves. Like, snap. <laughs> yeah, you ah. can't, you can't yeah. snap a power. I can't snap this, but I'm just putting it on like. No, dead. you just go. I'm bad cop. <laughs> yeah, you yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I just turn to everyone else. Look, everyone, just return back to duty. Luva, stay in for that doorway, you pussy ass bitch. Stay in that doorway. And I'll say, <laughs> yeah. Um, I suggest you do as you're told. Once we are done with this guy, really? you'll be next. Looking at the rest of the room. Oh, I thought you were speaking to me then. <laughs> you'll be next. You'll be next. <laughs> oh, am I? I mean, let's be honest. Lisa's been the most confident one of you for most of this <laughs> campaign. Yeah. Right, okay. I'll it? just go, look, I don't want an argument. I don't want to argue. Let's just try and work this as quickly as we can. Right. And then I'll just go into the chapel. Okay. Is there any furniture in the chapel? As I said, there's a long pew just big enough to see, well, a pew on either side of the door just big enough to see um, the other three people each. Uh, Should I do and the... And then the, um, left of confessor. Any word. intimidation, I'm doing. Start. Should I start off with a charm test first? Cool. So this pew is just a one wooden bench, yeah? Uh, it's basically a wooden bench, a small wooden bench you'd start of each right. of the door. So I can see that um, the geologist is sat on there where Gromlick's just pushed him on to yep. sit down. What I'm thinking is I'll go over to the geologist and I'll say, look, just to save us all the effort, because my friend here, this squat, with his super powerful arm, grafted muscles, he will knock you the fuck out if you don't answer my question. So, this is where I'll straddle him. He'll be like, do you have something to tell me? I'm sorry, straddle him? Yeah. Are you using that word the way it actually means? Yeah, I am. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I'm making this a. I'm gonna get this journal out. Given that you are both operating together, I'm gonna make this an interesting combined test. You roll charm at plus ten. You roll intimidate. Sixteen. Okay. Oh my god. 
that guy's close? Days. No. Oh. Okay. Fair point. Oh, yes. What was it? I missed 71. it. 71. Oh. 87. Cool. Yeah, well, he's not intimidated by you. But he is. But he is. He's a bit distracted by you. Um, yeah, we kind of looks up at you. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong, love, you're very pretty. But, uh, quite frankly, there ain't much I can tell you. Nothing at all. You didn't see anything. You didn't hear anything. Starts like, oh, stroking his chest. Yeah, there. I'll start playing with his hair. No, I'll start <laughs> playing with my hair. I'll be like, did you not get in an argument with, uh, the overseer? Well, I hate you, the prick. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. Okay. But, quite frankly, I think everybody on this lander hated that prick. Oh, why is that? Incompetent. Decided to take out his incompetence on the rest of us. Rode us all as hard as he possibly could because he kept making ridiculous promises on what could be achieved. And when nobody could actually live up to them, guess whose fault it was? Who? You? <laughs> all of us, pretty much, but yeah, it was usually me. Seemed to be of the opinion that actually taking time to make sure that we're getting the right stuff was less important than just getting as much stuff as possible. I take pride in my work. Oh, I yes. see that. I can see that, Felix. Don't worry. I'm just trying to find out what happened here so we can all get on with our jobs as our Lady Ambly herself does too. Now, did you hear of any fights between the Overseer or anyone else of the crew? I almost punched him at least once. He almost punched me at least once. Never actually came to blows between the two of us, though. But, uh, Somebody gave him a black eye the other day. I noticed that. Did no one bra have any bragging rights about that? Because I certainly would have. Mm, didn't ask about it. Quite frankly, I get the impression that whoever it was probably had good reason. Sounds like it. No one came out looking a bit flustered or a bit tussled? Well, I suppose Camilla did look a bit out of sorts not long afterwards. But, I mean, you know what tech priests are like. They're always a bit... Glances over at you with your heavy subnet modifications. Bit weird. Hey, you! Shut the fuck up. Get back to your boy business. Continues to draw in his journal. <laughs> 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 right, well, if there's nothing else to tell me, I will allow you to go back to your quarters. Um, but please, don't talk to the rest of the crew members. I would like to make this easy for everyone. But, uh, if you know what I mean. Confine him to his room. I'll kiss place. him on the cheek. And then get up and let you go. Cheeky wink. Cool. Yeah, cheeky wink. I just grab him and just chuck him out. Um, Hi. Wait, before you guys, I'll be like, oh, Felix, um, um, be sure to keep yourself available if I need anything else from you. I'll, while this is happening, I look at everyone and I go, your relationship with the overseer, Joko, please, all of you, in honest opinion, what was your feel? What was your opinion of him? He was a prick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Simon Tunes <laughs> never says that. Pretty much, yeah. Fr uh, Freox the one who actually says he was a prick. Um, yep. Right. That. He, he's <laughs> yep. Of all of the crew, he's the one who considered. Yo, know, he's not really a specialist in that regard. Yo, know, he's a driver. Yo, know, so he, he's got a very sort of you know, archetype of truck driver look to him. Um, Just to get what he says. Yo, he, he, yo, he's very, you know, gruff, no nonsense kind of uh, looking guy. Um, yo, he, he sort of uh, looks at you and, uh, you know, just kind of shakes his head. Yo, meanwhile, um, yo, Julia just sort of goes, he was not exactly one of the better people I've worked for. Can I hear I all this through? I'm a slave, mine. Um, yeah, you pick this up now and again. Oh, no, can I hear this through his box? Yeah. 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 Uh, the engine seer um, sort of says, he mostly had the decency to leave me to do my work, mostly because I don't think he understood any of it. As long as I kept the lander functional, he seemed content enough to leave me to my duties. Yeah. Uh, Jerome sort of looks over. I will not lie to you, the overseer was a man lacking a certain required level of faith. He would say all the right things, of course, but... I don't think his devotion to the God Emperor was quite what could be hoped for. It is no, there is no need to uh, flatter the man. You can be completely honest all you want, Jerome. He was I'm a man who sought to serve himself more than the Emperor. That is 
not uncommon, but it is not exactly something I can afford. Still, it is a tragedy what happened to it. Soul lost to the Emperor's service is always a bad thing. I'll well, box, um, I do not, for the record, I, I, I'm not implying any heresy, merely a lack of piety. Would you say that he blundered? That, that would put out. No, the one that's so I wonder, I wonder yes. how you're going to seduce her this day. So, so in a sense, you could say have that a full that chapter here. <laughs> you could say that <laughs> his so killing was justified. No. Murder is never justified. Smiting of the Emperor's enemies, yes, but even a man as wayward as Kachiago was could one day have found his way to the Emperor's light. His loss is tragic. And at that point, Grandma chucks the. I only hope that the Emperor's Giala. mercy has allowed him to find peace. And after that, Grandma chucks the geologist out and just runs and grabs someone. Yeah. I was do, don't know if you want to rule for that or. or uh, yeah, do, do you want to? Are you aiming to grab anyone specific? No, or? just randomly. I want Camilla. I want to make this fun for She wants Camilla. Oh, okay. She wants Camilla. No, that's really true. You, Jamie, bitch. I'm about it. Yeah. Um. Yo, you, know, you you sort of grab hold of Camilla and just throw her in again. Uh, it's a bit harder to throw her given that she does have mechadendrites. Um, so you know she kind of staggers but stabilizes herself as only somebody with well extra limbs can. Um, really squat those men need to be quite so. Uh, uh, in binary, tell her to sit the fuck down. Oh, I do apologize for my comrade there, Camilla. How are you? How are you faring? Why, frankly, I'm rather irritated. My servitors have need of direction. At the moment, I don't doubt that they're doing all sorts of foolish things. It's no worries. What we'll do, we'll, we're, we won't be long. This is why we want to do... We'll begin to walk, probably. <laughs> this is why I wanted to question you next, just to make sure you get back to your business and do the good job that you have been asked to do by Lady Amberley. Now, I was just curious. Did... The over I, I know the overseer had a bad reputation here. Um, did he ever make any untoward advances to you? And I'm charming her lady to lady. Like, not like sexually, but like as a woman to woman. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, roll with the charm test then. Hey, go plus 10 again. Wait, Kamala is the... Tech priest. Which one? The tech priest. Tech priest, yeah. Okay. She's in charge of the circles. Okay. Difference between check, tech priest and engine seer on this one. No, 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 I'm just... Advances. <laughs> I've got that one. I mean, she's she's relatively human as tech priests oh, go. Okay, right. you know, she's got mechadendrites, but other than that, it's you know, you know, no major sort of modifications in that regard. It's it's additions rather than anything else. Uh, I'll finish my sentence. So I was like, did he did he make any untoward advances to you? Because you are a very very good looking woman, if I do say so myself. Thank you, and no, he did not try to make any advances to me. I suspect these, she you know, flexes her mechadendrites, mm -hmm. um, which I can't remember if I explained to you what a mechadendrite is. I'm guessing extra arms attached to her back. Yeah. Uh, have you seen uh, Spider-Man? Yeah. You know, Doc Ock? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically each one of his arms will be considered a mechadendrite. Uh, so, yeah. Something I'm going to work up to. Okay. Yeah, you kind of want that, don't you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, she sort of flexes I suspect these put him off. He's... Yeah. Oh... I do know that he made rather unsubtle advances towards Julia. Really? Why would he do that? Uh, Julia is quite attractive, I believe, by yeah. female standards. I guess. Was there any thing between them? Not that I'm aware of. As far as I know, she considered him a pig. Yes, I get that impression, and to be honest, I can't argue that without having him defend himself. Um, did you, I can see you've got your very strong limbs and very impressive, I must say, nothing as good as my arms, but did you ever get into any arguments with the Overseer before his death? Did he ever try and Once hurt twice, you? he insisted on increasing the our output significantly. I informed him it would not be possible without significant improvements to our servitors, which would naturally cost our employer a significant amount of money. Obviously this was unacceptable to him. We had a loud disagreement on the topic. That was perhaps three days ago. You, you, what, you got a power up? 
Probably not. Not, not a cat. Oh, the multi. No, no, no the, the one that understands the language. Oh, language. Poly, yeah. Yeah, she knows all languages as a basic skill. And were any blows exchanged? No. Harsh language uh, was the worst he got. I was able to remain calm and logical, which I think only infuriated him more. Was he scared of anyone in, of the workers, or was it just up his own ass? I am not aware that he was afraid of anyone. Though, she sort of leans back in her chair to, to uh, think for a moment. I do feel like he had a particular dislike of Felix. Felix? Sorry, uh, not Felix. Um, of Jerome. Though, I believe that was just him being irritated by the man's piety. Mm, that's I'll understandable. Admit, I find his constant preaching of the God Emperor somewhat tiresome. Where's the armor star? Grand, grand, grandly says. Just ignore that little fucker. Indeed, Scott. On that point, we can agree. And he was me going to comment, contemplate your comment on your beauty, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you can fuck me. Anyway, um, I say, right, well, thank you very much for your time. I will let you get back to your servitors. And honestly, if you do feel you need an upgrade or anything, please don't hesitate to ask our Lady Ambly. Anything that makes your job easier makes her job easier. And I'll be sure to let her know that you need more resources. I wonder if all of them are actually involved. Potentially. You, you think it, you're thinking I've done that or you're going to express? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've read that. Have uh, no. uh, I, I've seen the version with David Suchet in. As, uh, uh, is he the one with the... the He's, he's got he's got the small moustache as opposed to the recent one that um, oh. Kenneth Branagh did, where he did a giant moustache. No, but I love that one because it's I, like I haven't I seen it. it yet, but oh, it's so great! I love it. No, oh, I really I really hope you've actually done that. <laughs> well, I'm spoiling nothing. So I know, I know. You guys know. actually have to figure this out. I know, but it's great. I mean, you, you could just execute a person at random and hope you get lucky, but I wouldn't recommend it. No, that's not fair. I'm debating that. To be fair. Now that I'm um, thinking about it, this is really justified. Okay. <laughs> so, that's all I want to I say. I mean, so. whoever killed him, I might just let him just... I mean, but in case you haven't noticed, quite often in murder mysteries, the guy who gets killed is a prick. A part of the reason for that is it gives everybody a potential motive. Yep. Okay. So we're letting her out now. Yeah, we'll let her out. Romney, please see oh. her out. Just grab a random up. So you've still got four people. Grab a random get away now. Right. Um, While <laughs> this is happening, <laughs> um, I say. I've got another question to ask now, everybody. Uh, Who's the other girl? Uh, Julian. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I tell you what. I I, I won't say anything. I'll let you decide who to go I'll just next. reassure them, just like, look, understandably this procedure needs to happen, so the fact that everything is delayed because of this, you have to understand. I know this is irritating, and trust me, nothing annoys me more than the slow, uh, the slowness of progress. But when a fellow colleague of yours <laughs> did use that like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fellow <laughs> colleague of yours, mind I, you, I, I understand it exactly. Yeah, two giant metal arms <laughs> going, uh, Yeah. <laughs> um, I go, which clearly I know exactly how everyone is thinking right now, yep. um, is murdered. It is concerned for everyone else that now who could have done it, who would be next. Now, understandably, I would be happy for you all to get back to work, as you are eager and willing, but proceed let us please the proceed through this as smooth and quickly as possible. Are any of the leftover... Um... And then I will... Yeah. I will... Yeah. Just, to, just to be... Just to yeah, yeah. As the other two people have walked out and gone back to work, yep. are any of the other people left behind sort of getting nervous? Or being um, like, why are they being like that? Julian oh, yeah. definitely looks a bit sort of you know, concerned. Uh, Freyok's kind of pacing angrily. Uh, the engine seer's just kind of sat yeah. in the corner, looks you know, kind of glazed. Yeah, yeah, yeah you only use one. 
and uh, Jerome is basically no. just sitting out quietly and you know, has, has, you know, his, his, his oh. hands in the shape of the Imperial Aquila as he's clearly praying. Okay, right, so I get I, concerned. Sorry. Julia, Julia. I, I, I do lost. think I failed my scrutiny test by rolling a 66. Fair enough. Again, your ability to read human body language is getting slightly less good as a result of all your modifications. Uh, uh, plus, again, you don't know these people very well, so it's hard to... You, know, you can definitely tell Julia's nervous about something, but what that is is hard to tell. It could just be she's worried that you're going to accuse her unfairly. Mm -hmm. I, uh, with, wait, because I've noticed that, um, shall I just go with Julia? Grandma yeah. opens the door and goes and gets Julia. I go, Julia, are you feeling, and then, like, <laughs> like oh uh, this, but not, not like just grabbing her, just like, this way, and like, <laughs> over the top, like, it's You're really nice. Polite to this, polite to this <laughs> and, 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 Which weirds this, her out, that weirds her out even more than you being a dick. Yeah. Because you've like, been a dick to everybody else. This way, my lady. My lady. Okay, and then oh. as she comes in, she's sort of you know, <laughs> playing with her hands and you know, kind of twiddling her thumbs. And, okay, what's her job again? Uh, she's a mining expert. Oh, right, you know, okay. She's been in and around mines literally her entire life, and so she knows exactly the you know, operative way, the most optimal way to, to do various. So she would be the foreman. Okay. Effectively, yeah. She she's basically responsible. Yep. You know, you know, um. Uh, Camilla actually controls the servitors, but yo know, Julia advises her on how best to deploy them. Right, okay. So she's a, basically a miner as well. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got an idea here. Okay. Ah, oh, Julia, thank you for being so patient with us. As you can imagine, we are doing our best to, to, to do our jobs well. Um, of course. As I understand it, you are the miner of the group? Yeah, after a fashion. I, I you know, I, I grew up in a... Uh, in a mine on, a, on an imperial world, and um, I was able to translate those skills into, into this. Right, well, if I was to describe this situation in terms that make sense, it would seem that you are on a mining expedition and your canary has now gone silent. What's a canary? What's the equivalent 40k version of a canary? I Canaries were extinct a long ass time ago. That's like a primitive way to, to 40k, that's a primitive way of mining. You, are, you, are you speaking caveman right now? Yeah, what, what's the equivalent? They've got to have an equivalent to know when the tunnel's going to come. Uh, out. Yeah, they yeah. send in people, yeah. and if they die, they go, right, okay, you guys don't Well, go I'm, I'm testing her knowledge, because she'll know about historical mining, right? Not necessarily, there's a fuckload of knowledge being it's lost a, in my 40k. Knows industrial mining. Yeah, so if, if you were. You know, Talking about you know, a, a, I don't know, a, a gas sensor going offline or something like that. Yeah, but she she understands. Right. Okay, we'll go with that route then. Cool. <laughs> good, good, good <laughs> one though. I'm not okay. gonna lie, that okay. was really good. I know what you're going for. Considering I don't know my 40k knowledge, I think I'm doing alright. Yeah, you're doing fine. I, it's it's like you know, I was I'm currently reading um, uh, Belisarius Call the Great Work, and there's literally a bit where he's talking about. About um, Goldilac, you know, famous astronomer, and their metaphor of the three other signs. Do you know what the answer Because they're talking about the gold. Yeah, do you know what the gold zone is in, in cosmic terms? It's the area around the sun in which you're not so close that it's too hot and you're not so far away that it's too cold. You're in the just oh, right zone. Right, right. right. so, so, yeah, so, so they're referring to ancient you know, astronomer and philosopher Goldilac and her metaphor of the three Earth signs. And I was, I was laughing my ass off when I read that. Uh, that's clever. Yeah, Guy Haley's one is, is a really, really good black so library. Do, you know, like the answer does. I mean, this is just you know, like the acid dogs have based around fucking mining clans and stuff like that. They don't mention mention anything about what type of stuff they use. To... They just literally just send people down a cave, and if so, they yeah. die, they just go. I mean, again, don't go down. There. <laughs> the important thing to remember about the Imperium is it's so big that every planet can do things differently. Yeah. And, you know, so one planet might be primitive enough that they do just, you know, put small animals in cages and use that. Right, okay, well, Whereas gonna... others might use, you know, high-tech gas sensors to determine exactly whether the atmosphere is going to be toxic. Right, okay, well, in, in right, let me rephrase this. She's, she's from a sophisticated enough world, but yes, they would have been using sensors rather than, okay. you know, So, if you're not, um, if you're unsure about this metaphor, it was a primitive human way of detecting gas leaks in a mining tunnel. It would go quiet when there was danger. Oh. Now, would you say that this is a situation where 
the canary has gone quiet. Not really. I mean, he's, he's dead. I get the feeling uh, no one liked him. Not really. I don't know if anybody would actually try and kill him, though. Mm. I mean, I, I, I can't say I liked him. Why was that, apart from the obvious fact that he was a bit of a prick? Um, I, I'm going to jump test, please. Jump test, okay. Can I just like reassure him? Oh god, I'm trying to reach you. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. put in a bit of charm. I'll be like, what is it, Julia? You know, this is a safe environment for you to speak to us. Imagine you got like a critical like success. I got an She's so terrified of you that she actually faints. <laughs> <laughs> I got an eight. You're wow. weirdly comforting. Um, but oh. the, the pair of you go. Yeah, so you go up and pat him. Pat him. Just like that. Well. <laughs> It, it was a couple of days ago, he he came on to me, rather oh. unsubtly. Yeah. He, he just opened the door to my office and, and you know, threatened to do unpleasant things to me if I didn't indulge him. I refused. Was he drunk? I don't think so, but I don't know, his eyes were a little glazed now. I don't think he was drunk though. Stims maybe, but I, I, I no, I don't know for sure. I, I no, that's fine. How did you manage to get him out of your office? Don't get him into trouble. No, as I said, please. We are trying to find out what happened. I assume you didn't kill him. No, 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 no. It was it was Freok. He he heard the commotion. He came in. He told. Jago to get the hell out. When Jago threatened him, he he punched him in the face. He's the one who gave him the blow. Ah, ah. Oh, okay. He, he did it to try and to defend me. He he wouldn't have done any more than that. I, I know him. He's a he's a good man. He's not a killer. And who is this? Bro, it's the driver. Oh, the driver. Yeah, oh, he's the he's the, he's the driver of the big. So you and the driver. Do you are you close? Are you good friends? He's always been nice to me. No complaints. What's the name of this last again, sir? Julia. Mm -hmm. Julia. Julia. He's a good man. I have no complaints about him. No, have you thought that maybe he might be sweet on you, Julia? No man sticks up for a woman like that for no reason. No. The guy's married. He's that... got three kids up on the show. I can tell you now from experience in Spymaster, that means that fuck all. Well, look. He's never intimated anything. As far as I know, he's just a decent man who's trying to help me. Okay, well, just stay out of trouble. You don't want to cause any of your own domestic issues if you can help it. But thank you very much for letting us know. At least that's answered one question about the black eye. <sighs> Fortunately, we look, still I, need to know. Just, just look, I know Freyok didn't do it, okay? I know what you're thinking, but I know he didn't. And what makes you so sure? For one thing, he came running out after I found the body. He was shocked. And um, where did he come running out of? His control cabin. Where's that on here? He's in the driver, isn't he? He's, he's yeah, right, right he's next there. to... So he may have potentially heard something then. I don't know. It's possible. The walls of this thing are reasonably thick. They have to be in case we get a void breach. Mm. So you, you can't usually hear much through them when the doors are sealed. Is there any camera systems along that corridor? No. Nothing. We, we've never had the need for anything like that. No. That's a good question. Make it's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> right, well... I mean, admittedly, I could have put a camera system in here that recorded the whole thing and it would have taken you, like, you know, <laughs> three hours to actually remember to, to ask about it. But no, it's a good thing of writing notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, um, well... To be fair, it's very messy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for your time, Julia. Um, if you'd be so kind as to send one of the other workers in, we'll let her decide who to send in. Cool. Oh. We're gonna try and throw them on. What we put out get all this whole thing. <laughs> she sends to roll back. She sends to roll back in by mistake. <laughs> okay. No, you, uh, it's like, we already haven't... done you. Get some yeah, yeah, I've talked to Jerome yet. Oh, actually, no, we haven't. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Um, so far, you've talked to uh, Camilla, Felix, and Julia. And Julia, once you've sent so someone in. So, free up, you know, Jerome left. 
Yeah, they will let you decide. And Julia, once you've sent someone in, you may go back to your work. Wait, office. <laughs> cool. Um, you know, she, she heads back up to her office and uh, Freelock comes in. Oh. Is he aggressive coming in? He, he sort of walks in with you know, the air of somebody who's a bit long suffering. Um, you know, he's, he's clearly probably the oldest member of this crew. He's a driver, isn't he? Yeah. Right, okay. Ah, Frideok, good to see you, my man. Please, sit your ass down. <sighs> oh, he slumps into you well of you. So, Julia says she told you about the fight. Yes, I hear about this, and I commend you for defending her dignity. Mm-hmm. Now, we are, as you know, trying to find out what has happened here, so we can continue on with our work and inform the Lady Amberley that she has nothing to worry about. Do you... did you hit... What I'm trying to get at is, I know your station is next door to his office. Did you hear or see anything? Nope. I heard uh, Julia when she screamed, saying that she'd go call that that she'd found it. But uh, before that, no. You heard no struggles? No shouts for help? No. no banging. Did you hear say that? I did hear a bit of a clatter, but did you hear? I didn't think anything of it. Did you hear say that she found him first, or did she say that three of them? She, found, she him. found him. Basically, she saw the blood seeping out under the door. You know, banged on the door a few times. When he didn't answer, she opened it and dead body. At which okay, point, she basically so immediately started calling for help. So Julie is the first witness. Then. Yeah. So three of. Um, I hear what, that you're... Do, do we want to um, stop this part here? Well, we'll question this one and then when he goes out oh, we'll stop it. Right. We'll um, run a bit over, guys. Freyok, I am aware that your family's on board with you, is that correct? It is. And how many members of your family are there? Oh, there's my wife, my three kids. Okay, and what do you... are your relations with your family? They're my family, I love them. Yes, but just because you love someone does not mean you may want to be around with them. Look, I have a job to do. There are times when it takes me away from them. I'm not overly happy about that, but it's a living. And what are your thoughts on Julia? I like the kid. She's only slightly older than my eldest daughter. So she reminds you of your daughter? Look, she was in a tough situation. And I don't like people who take advantage of their authority. Somebody needed to punch the prick. Understandable. I'll give you that one. I can't honestly tell you that I'm happy, that I'm sad that he's dead. But it wasn't me that killed him. And I know for a fact it wasn't Julia neither. And what makes you so sure? You've met the girl. She ain't capable of it. The confidence ain't that. Ah, you'd be surprised what people are capable of under pressure. You've seen Jago, right? He's about two times her size. No way she could overpower him in a straight fight. Yet I'm a spy master from an imperial background. And I'm half her size, yet I'm a bit of a- I love you, see me! <laughs> yes, but, you know, she doesn't exactly have your, um, considerable musculature. I was just mainly implants more than anything, but no, never mind. Grumley, did you have any questions for our friend here? Uh, wait, what, what have we asked? We know where he's at. He no, he's family, you know he's Julia. Just um, as any he, sees, he sees Julia's daughter, he was the one who was willing to punch, uh, he punched him. Jago. Jago in the face, uh, causing the black eye. Um, he is just like, oh, he is been. the old, he is the old, like, I assume he's the oldest one. Okay, I actually have a question. Here we go. So, what's his name again? Freok. So, Freok, you... You are the oldest member of board here. Yeah, I think so. So, essentially, you really have nothing to lose by killing this guy. I mean, you're more than happy to raise your fist to him. Yeah, I'll raise my fist to him. But if I kill him, let's be honest, I go out, I go out an airwalk and my family goes hungry. Granted, they've all got jobs to do on board the ship. Only if you got caught. My wife's second generation. You know, she's lived her entire life on board the, the ball and deserving of the fire. But, let's face it, if I die, 
that's a significant amount of uh, resources taken away from me. I would not do that for my kids. Mm, okay. Well, we'll leave it for that. You may go back to your work. Thank you. Give us five minutes and we'll just notify the rest of the crew that we'll be a couple of minutes, but not to go anywhere. Cool. Mm. All that's left now is the engine seer and the priest. So, I think that's a good point to uh, end this part. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching. Bye -bye. We'll see you in the next. Bye. Bye. Bye.